Hey guys, so I wanted to pop on here and talk about another holiday movie I watched recently. It's called The Happiest Season. It came out in 2020. Yes, I've been watching a lot of holiday movies this year and it's been kind of rare because I feel like year after year I'm always like, yeah, I'm going to watch lots of holiday movies during the season, but I actually never do it. But this is actually like the first year where I've actually been watching a series of holiday movies. But yeah, I wanted to share with you my thoughts about this movie. So the movie follows the main character, Abby, played by Kristen Stewart, and Harper, played by Mackenzie Davis. They play a long-term same-sex couple, and for this holiday season, Abby is going home with Harper to meet her family and spend the Christmas season together. So only there are a few catches. So Harper asked Abby kind of in the spur of the moment, she didn't really mean it, and on the way to her house, she admits to Abby that she hasn't really revealed her sexual orientation to her family yet, and she basically lied and said that Abby is her roommate and not her girlfriend. So of course this adds complex layers to the movie and trouble and hilarity ensue. I'm going to have to say that this is probably my favorite holiday movie of all the ones I've seen during the season and I just thought it was the richest and richest in terms of plot, the spectacular performances, and it just had a lot of substance which I feel a lot of holiday movies don't really have. They're just kind of like frivolous, meaningless, fun entertainment. But this one had a lot of substance and it had a very meaningful message and there were so many heartfelt moving scenes. In fact, I felt myself being moved to tears in several of the scenes just because it was dealing with such a complex issue. However, there is one character I wish they further pulled on and further developed because I'm just so interested in her character development and that's Riley played by Aubrey Plaza and she plays Harper's ex-girlfriend and basically she was betrayed by Harper because um, Harper was too consumed with keeping up with appearances and not coming clean about her sexual orientation and kind of threw Riley under the bus. Um, but they kind of like lightly touched upon the subject and obviously there's a whole backstory there and I'm just more curious to know more about what happened and I want to know more about Riley because to me she's kind of like um, a puzzling mysterious character in this whole movie. All in all, I really enjoyed this movie. I think there's an important, meaningful message behind it. I highly recommend everyone to see it. And I was surprised and interested to hear that Clea Duvall directed it. Clea Duvall, I know her from um, the movie Girl Interrupted. So, And apparently this whole story is based on her personal experiences. And she co-wrote this movie with another actress from the movie, um, played by Mary Holland. Her name is Jane. She plays Harper's sister. But anyways, uh, let me know if you decide to check out this movie. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday.